Judge Senzon was nominated by President Trump on November 30th of last year, but according to the Senate Judiciary Committee website, her nomination was returned on January 3rd under the provisions of Senate Rule 31. It states that, quote, nominations neither confirmed nor rejected during the session at which they are made shall not be acted upon at any succeeding session without being again made to the Senate by the president. That means Judge Senzon would have to be nominated again by the next president, Joe Biden. Reacting today on KOM's The Link, Lieutenant Governor Josh Tenorio was noncommittal on whether their administration would recommend Senzon to the Biden administration or opt to keep current Chief Judge Francis Tidinko Gatewood, whose 10-year appointment expired several years ago. You know what? I tell you that the governor and judge have had some uh, conversations. Um, she's, the governor's spoken to many folks. Uh, and so I'll just say this. I'd leave that for the governor to herself to talk about, but I would tell you that uh, the governor had previously uh, already endorsed a reappointment of Chief Judge Francis Tedinko Gatewood since last year. It's really just a matter of the political process, and right now the political process is not being controlled by anybody in Guam. It's really um, in, 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 as part of a national, uh, a national scheme here. Um, where, you know, fortunately, Judge Senzan, who has cleared the FBI, has been vetted, uh, has been shown to be a good, excellent candidate is, you know, up there. But, um, you know, so it's going to be, who knows? Um, I would say that it's it's a, not a, it's a stressful situation, I'm sure, for both judges. The lieutenant governor also points out that while federal judges in the territory serve 10-year terms, their counterparts in the 50 states are appointed for life. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto.